know, yesterday was a beautiful day. Now it's 43 degrees and windy. But it's not cloudy. <laughs> Things are about to get busy in here, so before that happens, I wanted to run through quickly with you guys and let you know exactly what's about to happen here and why. This is our 2013 planter, so this is about uh, eight years old now. Planters have a decent amount of wear parts on them, and this thing had gotten to the point where it has just enough acres on it now where we were gonna have to start replacing some of the parts on it to keep the tolerances tight so that it did a good job. If you missed the recent video where we tore the thing completely apart and stripped all the row units off it, make sure you go back and check that out. These are our new row units here. These are the Maximerge system from John Deere. This is the high speed kit, or they call it a performance upgrade kit, that we're gonna be putting on it here over the next couple of days. So these are the same row units that we ran last year on that 40 foot planter. We really like the job that they did. If you don't wanna drive 10 miles an hour with them, you don't have to. They do a really, really consistent job at no matter what the speed is. Honestly, I thought it seemed like they were doing a better job at nine to 10 miles an hour than they did at seven. But you can drive four or five miles an hour if you want to with them, just like we did with our old planter, and they're gonna be a little bit more consistent. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that as we go through in the video. We've decided to take this project to our shop, mostly because we're really close to our local dealer to Midwest Machinery and because I was gonna be doing a lot of filming here. So we've got some people coming out to help Jim and I throw this thing together, make sure we get everything just right. Your local John Deere dealer can help you out with anything you need when it comes to this stuff as well. So now I gotta go get the girls up and get them to school. Did what did you find? A little morning snack? Apparently she doesn't wanna share. Are you guys excited to go back to school after the break? No? I don't like yeah. school. Well, you'll learn to love it. Isla, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't like school. I can't blame her. I was never a big fan either. So that we can get the picker underneath it. We can lift the pallet with the skid steer. So there's row number one. Actually, it's number 12, but it's the first one we've hung. <laughs> We're gonna come by and put the row cleaners on and the actual closing wheels themselves after we've got everything else hung here. Did you get that stuff welded, Jim? On that side. On that side. So they're welding covers right now to the draft tubes up here to run hoses and wiring harnesses through so that we're not pulling everything through these tubes because these tubes get a little bit crowded inside. So we're gonna lay them over the top and they'll have covers with them. Which if you've ever run hoses and wiring through tubes like that that are crowded, you know it's much easier to lay them on top and cover them. What are you concentrating on so hard? <laughs> Just trying to stay away from the camera? <laughs> See, this is why I just am running the impact wrench, because I don't want to have to read things. Yeah, there's a lot of pages up here. Words are hard. I do not want to deal with the wiring harnesses. That's your Those job. Those aren't as bad. Those aren't as bad? No. This is hoses? Yeah. You see the mess of hoses we got over there? I do. They're all sprawled out. Yeah. I'll get you a case of bush. Uh,
Final two row units. We got 22 of them hung. Still got to put the row cleaners and the hoses and the actual closing wheels and the controllers and a hundred other things. But we're getting it done. Anna, you're going to have to get out of the way. There you go. We stopped at a ice cream place on Saturday. My kids and Anthony and a guy had a pair of like athletic shorts on, and it had it had a picture of. Uh, Got to be super troopers. Yeah, yeah. With the mustache, and then on <laughs> the other leg, there. It said uh, car ramrod, and I was like, <laughs> oh my God, those are the best shorts. <laughs> Let's see if it's accurate. All right, right there. It's Thirty inches. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. What are you welding? Uh, we need to weld bushings on for some hydraulic fittings. Excellent. You just said I need to give Jim a bad time, so I'm here. I'm here to do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey Jim. You want me or Colin to weld from now on? This one broke off. Yeah. It did. It did. It did, yeah. But I won't tease you too much because I can't really weld at all. It did? Huh? It did really break off. It did, yeah, it came off. We give each other so much crap around here, you wouldn't even believe me. You just can't trust each other. I don't think you want to move that one. You got it better this time? Don't worry, I won't put it on the internet. We'll put some JB. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's do some JB well. So now we are putting on the final closing wheel system here. Jim's going around and throwing the actual wheels on. And I'm going underneath here and loosening the bolts that we put in the first time. Because we were unaware of the alignment issue that we needed to be aware of. Next morning, Jim. Are you ready to go again? We're ready to give her. She I should forgot. Be good, huh? She should be good. I forgot about the camera for the whole like second half of yesterday. Well, that way you got something done. I, I did, yeah. <laughs> we all did. We boogied pretty good yesterday. We got the row units on yesterday. Got a bunch of closing wheels on and the row cleaners. That was the easy job, putting the hardware in. Yep. What were you guys working on? Because it looked a lot more difficult. Uh, we were working on all the IRHD, hydraulic stuff, getting all that in. Individual hydraulic downforce. Yep. Yep, a lot of hoses, connections. Yep. Yeah. And now today is all the electrical. That sounds even worse. Maybe I'll just leave you alone. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Some of them have a specific way they want to run too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be two going to the row cleaners. A pressure up and a pressure down. A yellow and a green, I suppose, huh? A yellow and a green, and then a black one to the closing wheels. There's a meeting of the minds going on right there. And Jim, too. <laughs> so this.
this planter has only got one compressor on it so it's a much larger compressor than what we had before there's five different valve bodies on it so it's going to be controlling everything from this one compressor and it's heavy so we'll see how we get it up there you maybe don't want me to run over that little wiring harness down there no that could potentially delay the project kind of an important piece Want me up there with you? You hate heights? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not particularly fond of them either. I got the camera going just in case you drop it. We don't want to see that on camera if we do. Alright, so we just gotta we just stay on the ladder. Right? Keepers. 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 Pallet tilt. <laughs> Is that from the pallet or from the bushel? Uh, <laughs> I think I found some stuff to grab on me. Want a couple of these? Or these are just for the pallet? Oh, uh, no, I'll put some of them in. I don't know exactly. So you got to update the software on the planter. On the planter. You need the key on in the tractor. Okay. But not running. Okay. Hi, Ree. Hi. How are you? Good. What's going on inside the house? Construction. Construction? Yeah. Fireplace stuff? Yeah, the fireplace turns on now. Nice. Are we updating? Trying to. Trying to. So we're going to unfold it and fold it, move it around, make sure we're good to go. There's so many wires and hoses. We already got one there moving. Jim left, we could blame him. <laughs> so what happened was, these, so those guys are all gone now, but what happened was here, we're missing a fitting. We knew we were missing a fitting, but we didn't figure it would have pressure coming through the hose back here, and it did. Um, so it's nobody's fault, we just didn't realize that it would have pressure coming through that hose. So they took off, we're gonna have a fitting coming tomorrow. Uh, we're waiting on some covers, we need a scraper, um, some other odds and ends, and then we're gonna fold and unfold this thing, make sure all the new wires and the air lines and the hoses are out of the way and are good to go, and then we're gonna open it up, set it down, we're gonna do a runoff. We'll do that before we set it down, I guess. We'll calibrate things, make sure seed's flowing through correctly. And then we're gonna line up the closing wheels and make sure that our row units are exactly 30 inches on center on the openers. And these dogs, they never quit. I, I guess during the day they sleep, but. Yeah. Morning and evening. Oh yes, Rihanna? Did you see that flooring right here? Yes, we took that flooring off. It's sitting over there so that we could get to the hoses and everything. There's a lot of brains underneath there. You see all that stuff? It's a rat's nest. All right, let's see you go on that ripstick. He's getting this thing down pretty doggone good. Hey, I'm better at him than it. I'm better at him than him. I'm better. You just be careful. Come here. We'll cut, take the next step. There you go. <laughs> all right. Day three of our planter rebuild project. This should be our final day. It should just take a few hours here to open things up, make sure everything's run right. Like I said before, should be a good day, but I've got to run to town just a few miles away here. I've got a meeting first this morning, meeting with a group of local farmers where uh, we're actually gonna 
divvy up our funds from the last year that we have and uh, and decide on some scholarships for young people that are going into uh, the field of agriculture. So I'm looking forward to that because the breakfast is free too. So it's all good things for me. And you can see here how much we've changed in the last uh, day and a half. Just two or three days ago, we were 80 degrees. Now she's a, a sloppy mess. Which isn't all bad. We definitely needed the moisture. We were extremely dry, but the issue now is hopefully it'll stop raining and warm up so that we can start planting again. But our forecast took a, a big 180, and instead of having uh, highs in the 60s and lows in the 50s, we've now got highs in the 30s and 40s. We've got some lows down in the 20s. This could slow down our spring, but the forecast can change in a hurry. We'll see what happens. Let's just go get breakfast. Meeting over. Time to get back to work. We've got it fully open and nothing pinched, but they were in there pushing stuff around. It looks like they're just going to zip tie some stuff up here quick. I imagine they'll want me to fold it closed. Morning. This big one? Yeah. Going around all those? I think I'm just going to go around these four and then these four, because okay. these four go around. Right in there? I won't be hitting your hoses that you're trying to push on there? That's just that last loop we had at the end of the line. Another wire. What are you mounting there now? The, the, the MTG antenna. So that's what we can get service advisor remote and the connectivity of the planter. So now I can communicate with outer space. That's right. That's right. All the aliens you want. That's in layman's terms, that's what you're doing. Yep. Anna wants to go planting. You, quit your yipping, or I'm gonna boot you out into the rain. And in the meantime, we have got a pallet of FBN seed. So you want like two and a half? Yeah, that'd be good to start. Two point five quarts. Good. So we're running the individual row hydraulic downforce right now to make sure there's no leaks. All those hoses. We're empty, so we wanted to add some hydraulic oil to the tractor. So right now the system is running a purge through the hydraulics that run the downforce here to make sure there's no air in the lines, since those lines were all dry. In the meantime, while those guys have things cycling and they're running their tests and calibrations, we're gonna take this sticker off because we've got new ones that are now more proper.
There's one here that's not filling at all. It's weird. Maybe this has something to do with it. I thought this was a wireless pneumatic system. We need a T then. Looks like we need. So now we've got the row units open. We've got the covers off so you can see the bowls inside. We're running everything through the calibrations, making sure that everything's turning. We don't have any seed in there yet, obviously, or you'd see that coming out. So now we have closed up all the row units, put the hoses back on, and we've got seed in the number one row. We're gonna do what's called a runoff test and make sure things look good. So we're able to wirelessly control the row units right now setting them for a specific population and speed. 34 and 10 miles an hour. Look at that seed fly out of there. There's our simulation up there. That's not far off. Don't spill any, Colin. 34,000 seeds at a simulated 10 miles per hour. Hopefully that carried through on the camera just how quickly that stuff was flying through there. Unreal, and we can do this all wirelessly, row by row on your cell phone, your iPad, whatever you've got. Pretty handy. What'd you guys think? Us? Set, set, I mean, how did it go? We had three pretty good days in the shop here. Yeah. Now we're pretty much done, other than one line that Jim and I overlooked yesterday. We don't need to talk about that, or we can just blame Jim. He's not here. There it is, the most important part. This makes it official, right? I think so. It's officially an exact emerged planter once the stickers are on there. Yep. Yep. Now I just need a ladder. Yeah, you just need a ladder. You want to stand on Colin's shoulders? Yeah. Right. Do it again. Get up there, Eric. Get on his shoulders. There we go. Come on. Hop up there. <laughs> Teamwork. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now if you fall, it's going to make a really good video. Whoa. I honestly can't believe I got you to do that. Yeah. What were you thinking? <laughs> Did you bring your own Bondo squeegee? Yeah. I was thinking ahead. He's not even sticking his tongue out when he does that. <laughs> it means he's not truly concentrating. Look at that. Ooh. Well, that's it. We officially now own a 24 row, 60 foot, exact emerge John Deere planter. It only took three long days of thrashing with several people, plus a full day to get it to our part. I think things went really, really good, but the fun is going to be when we get that thing out in the field this spring. I'm pretty excited to see what it does. There's a lot of cool features that that thing has besides just the ability to go 10 miles per hour. And we're gonna get into all that, between that and the tractor and the auto, auto, what's it called? Auto, auto something. We'll get into that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, see ya. I almost forgot again. Keep it between the rows.